So scrolling through my Instagram feed here, got over 205 comments in just two hours. I've deleted a fair few just from all the Anna enablers on there. Um, it's, it's quite funny, you see all these people like, I'm loving hugs, fuck you dude, I don't want to punch you in the face, you fucking cunt, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then on their pages like, it's like, ah. All this fucking bullshit, all the, the guys like, hey man, I'm really spiritual, fuck you dude, I want to punch you in the face. It really goes to show, man, who people really are. But no one does it in real life, everyone's fucking talking on the internet. But anyway, go check out my latest Instagram post, I won't update it so you can see the latest one. Uh, and it's full on, man. Just have a read through and you'll see that people just don't want... To, people who want to be victims don't want to hear the truth. Because here in Australia, if you're anorexic, you'll get paid by the Australian government. You get what's called a disability support pension. It's about $900 a fortnight. And if you've got anorexia, you don't have to work because you've got a mental condition. All right? So, I mean, I've clinically been diagnosed with anorexia and I've clinically recovered from it. So, I can speak with personal experience. So, I'm not just an outsider going, well, this is my opinion. No, this is my... And this is not my opinion, this is actually my real life experience. So clinically diagnosed, clinically cured. And no motherfucking psychiatrist or psychiatrist or whatever, psych, a pill pusher, drug pusher, ever really ever ever helped me ever. Because there's more money in keeping people ill than helping them help themselves cure themselves naturally. Alright, so remember that. There's more money in keeping people ill, it's a fucking industry, than making people get healthy and fit. How many doctors make money from me? The only time people make money from me is if there's an accident or something like that. What I put in my mouth and what I put in my brain, things like that, I take control of that. I do my best to stay healthy. That is not what fuels the system. So they don't want you to get better. They want you to stay in that. Because there's like, you're an expert now, you're a specialist. And you get paid. You, you want people to come back to you. All right, an anorexic who stays anorexic for a few months doesn't make you much money. So I keep coming back to the clinic, keep coming back, here's your script. That's business, man. That's how motherfuckers drive Porsches, Ferraris, Lamborghinis. It's not from getting counts well. All right, so that's, that's you got to understand that it's a big industry in keeping sick people sick. And say, so, look, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just, it's just bad luck. All right? But you keep coming back here and I'll keep writing it up and I'll keep getting paid by Medicare, etc. And it's all good. And hey, we'll give you a little pension. You'll win this too. And then you get sympathy from your friends and family who are too undercarbed or too inexperienced to really know what's going on. And that's what happens, man. I remember when I was uh, eight years old, uh, I started anorexia then. I was like anorexic BMI. And I'd get sick and go to school, go to hospital and all sorts of things. And... I got so much attention from my mum. I didn't have to go to school. And when, most kids don't want to go to fucking school. And I was one of those kids. I didn't want to go to school. So I'd be like, I don't want to eat. And then be like, oh, you're getting too thin. And I'd set my grandma's. And she made me some special food I like. But I didn't eat too much of it. Because I was like, oh, I don't want to, you know. I don't want to pretend I'm healthy again. Because oh, I did that for a bit. And like, oh, you're healthy. Go back to school. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm getting punished for being good. You know? I'm getting punished for being healthy. So I was like, no, no, no. I didn't really understand what I was doing back then. But I understood that if I don't eat or if I eat little, if I get sick, I get more love and attention from my family. All right, so it's a little vicious circle. So if you've got friends out there who are Anna, the worst thing you can do is, oh, because all you're fucking doing, man, is you're helping them stay there. You gotta say, look, cunt, you gotta harden the fuck up. Every single time I do that, that people just like, Whoop, see you later. I want a victim enabler. I don't, I don't want a champion enabler. I want to hang out victim enablers. So if all of us were victim uh, champion enablers, we wouldn't have these sort of problems in society. But we do, and we need to be honest and speak up front. And I get fucking so many emails and people say, look, Dorota, I saw the, the best specialists out there, whatever, and you and Freely are the only motherfuckers out there who actually had the courage to stand up and say what needed to be said. And that's because I'm not here to make money from you. Your specialists, they're making fucking money from you. I'm not. So I'm telling you, you have to take control, you have to start fucking eating, and start looking after yourself. If you want it. But go to my Instagram feed and have a read through it, man. Have a read through it and look at the fuckers, man. I've deleted most of the victim enablers on there, but there's a couple on there just to see what's going on. But if you flick through it, there'll be some victim enablers. I'm going to go to sleep, so I'm sure there'll be plenty on there later on. It's already on the forums, man, people are talking about it. But go check it out, man. Latest Instagram post. Leave your thoughts, leave some comments. Let's get the discussion going. Eat, motherfuckers. Eat. Eat well, be well, look well, do well.